Today you're going to learn how to make automated subtitles just like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. This effect has never been easier, allowing you to automatically transcribe your entire video with the click of one button. No matter what aspect ratio you shot your video in, whether it be landscape or portrait style for TikTok or Instagram, Premiere will automatically align your text within frame. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm also going to show you how to animate your subtitles from this to this. And then lastly, I'm going to show you how to export your transcription to a text file or CSV file. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. Cineguac. So as you can see, I have this video clip of me talking to camera. This is the video I will be adding subtitles to in Adobe Premiere Pro 2024. And I'd like to add subtitles to this video. With your clip already on the timeline, go up to Workspaces and scroll down to Captions. Here, we're going to go to Create Captions from Transcript. The majority of the time, I just keep the caption preset on Subtitle Default, but you have the option to change this depending on your project. CEA 708 is the standard setting for television. Nobody cares! But this is meant for YouTube, so let's just keep this on Subtitle Default. Let's drop down the captioning preferences so that we can adjust the length and duration of our captions. I like to lower the maximum length in characters down to about here so that we see just a few words on screen at a time instead of really long sentences. I'll also lower the minimum duration so that the text doesn't spend too much time on screen. I like to keep the gap between captions at zero so that we cut from title to title without any empty space in between. And lastly, I normally select single lines so that our subtitle is all on one line as opposed to two. Looks a lot cleaner. We can just collapse this and open up our transcription preferences. Let's keep the language in English. And since I'm the only one speaking, we can keep the speaker labeling setting to No, Don't Separate Speakers. Let's go ahead and hit Transcribe and Create Captions. Now your computer will automatically transcribe all the dialogue in your video clip. And you'll see each line of dialogue has its own video clip above on the timeline. Play that all back. This is the video I will be adding subtitles to in Adobe Premiere Pro 2024. Now, here's how you change the font and size of the subtitles. You can just select all your captions at once, which will automatically open up your text settings in Essential Graphics. Here we can change the font. So, let's change this to Impact. And right beneath that, we can adjust the font size to something a bit more legible. You can even change where in the frame your captions appear by selecting any of these corresponding boxes under Align and Transform. Let's just keep it at the bottom. And now, when you play that all back, it will automatically apply your changes to every subtitle. Now let's say the automatic transcription made a mistake, and there's an edit you want to make to the text. Like right here, it added a period at the end of video. We can just select that title, double click up here, and then easily make the edits we want. Alright, now here's how you animate your subtitles to make them a lot more fun and engaging. First, highlight all your subtitle clips. Go up to Graphics and Titles, and select Upgrade Caption to Graphic. This will automatically place your captions on a video layer, so that you can add effects to them like you would any other video layer. Head over to your effects library, and search for an effect called Transform. Drag the Transform effect right onto your first caption. With that caption selected, head up to Effect Controls. Select your Transform effect, and head over to your playback monitor. What we want to do is drag these anchor points to wherever we want our subtitle to be. Drag both of these blue circles directly on top of each other at the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, your animations will move all over the place and it's going to look really weird. Once you've done that, go to the beginning of your clip and tap the right arrow four times, moving us four frames forward. Set a keyframe for scale. Then go to the beginning of your clip and change your scale to zero. This will create another keyframe. Right click the first keyframe you created and select Ease In. 
Now you'll see your subtitle scales from 0 to 100 over the course of 4 frames. To take this one step further, we can scroll down and deselect Use Composition's Shutter Angle, and then change the shutter angle to 180. This will add some motion blur to the animation. If you have any issues with the rescaling of your keyframes, you can adjust them until it looks pretty good. Play that back, and you now have a nice pop-up effect. This is the video I will be- To apply this to every caption in the video, just right-click your Transform Settings in Effect Controls, hit Copy, then select all the other captions on your timeline, and hit Command-V or Control-V on your keyboard to paste the same effect. Play that back, and you now have a fun pop-up effect on all of your subtitles. Just in case you want to export your entire transcript, you can go up to Transcript, and then click on these three dots. Here you can go to Export, and choose which format you'd like to export in. Simply just choose where you want to save the file, and that's it. If you want to export your captions broken down line by line with timecodes, you can go to Captions, and then do the exact same thing. Go to Export, and choose where you want to save your file. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a long time to put together, so show me some love. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.